All right, so breast cancer. So there are two different, breast, breast cancer, there are many different types, but two ca broad categories. Well, it depends. This is why I talked about ducts and lobules. So there are ductal breast cancers, and there are also lobular ones as well. Well, with a ductal breast cancer, what's going to happen? Well, these ca breast cancers are tumors are going to develop from the cells that make up the ducts of a breast tissue. And in lobular cancers, instead of developing in the ducts, they develop in the lobules. So if you have a tumor that develops from those cells that make up the alveoli of the lobules, this is what we call a lobular breast cancer. Now, the, those are so this is one way of categorizing breast cancer is which type of cells did they develop from? Now, in situ is another term versus invasive, and in situ is Latin for in position or place. So what we have here, if we have a lobular cancer and it stays in place and doesn't migrate to the surrounding area, it's called duct, ductal car, or lobular carcinoma in situ. But what if it starts spreading and starts spreading to the surrounding tissue and invading the surrounding tissue? Now it's becoming invasive because it's not no longer staying within the borders of the lobule. Or in the case of ductor, invasive ductal carcinoma, it would be not respecting the borders of the duct. So when it starts to invade past the basement membrane of these tissues and spread to the surrounding tissues, it's invasive. And this is one way of categorizing major types of breast cancer. Most breast cancers fall into these four major categories. Is it ductal? Is it lobular? So again, where did it start? Did it start in a duct or did it start in a lobule? And if it's in situ, it's early because it's in place, it's still in where it started. But once it starts spreading, this is what we call invasive carcinoma. So again, you can kind of break it bar into these categories, whether where it started and where it is currently. Is it in place or is it now spreading? And there's another type called inflammatory breast cancer. So that one is like, it's, it's, um, it doesn't quite fit neatly into those four categories. And this is a hot topic of research. And the interesting thing about inflammation Remember like inflammation is often occurs in due to injury and it's also your body's way and during inflammation your body also produces a lot of things that promote growth. So inflammatory breast cancer is also interesting because like because you have inflammation well it has all the symptoms of inflammation but it's very aggressive and often what we see is an increase in a lot of growth hormones and peptides and cytokines that are involved in growth of tissues and cells. So this is why inflammatory breast cancer is very deadly because it appears very rapidly and it grows very rapidly. The good thing is that it's pretty rare, but it's still, yeah, when it happens, it, it can like, unfortunately, I think, it, yeah, it can cause death within like months. It was, it's very scary. But this is why, again, just like testicular cancer and prostate cancer, detection is critical. And what we ha can see is like, What's different is like, well, maybe pain, redness, scaliness, especially change in texture of the breast can, or a sensation. That can often mean that, or it's not going to necessarily mean that breast cancer is there, but these are symptoms that sometimes have led to the detection of breast cancer. Inward nipple. So sometimes like, this is like an interesting thing. Like sometimes you can have a nipple that protrudes and then when the breast, cancer, uh, breast tumor develops, the nipple actually goes from an Audi to becoming an innie. So that's just what we have with inward nipple. And discharge, when you're not, and this is different from lactation. Like this discharge, they say it's a different sub, uh, sometimes it's a different color or a different consistency. So it's not your typical lactation. And I thought this was a clever one, this like lemons. And it, yeah, this is also interesting, orange peel skin. So if your skin is naturally like that, well, that doesn't apply to you. But this is, it's interesting. They call it, I think they first, when we first described it, they use a French term, it's peau d'orange, which is just literally orange, orange skin. But this is, yeah, so what you can see is like different changes in the texture or sensation or even like the overall shape of the breast. Or actually my friend, she had, she had breast implants or she, I think she got them back again. Or yeah, she did get them back again. But this is actually how she did, found out that she had breast cancer. I think she was watching um, some reality TV show 
And coincidentally, that in that reality TV show, like this woman's breast actually implant actually inverted in her breast. And then when she went to the plastic surgeon to find out what happened, they found out that she had breast cancer. And that's a crazy thing that happened. That happened to my friend. Like she had developed a tumor and that caused her implant to actually invert in her breast. So I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like, but so it's a good thing she watched that TV show. But so this is why the, you can also look up online, like there are multiple way, ways of doing a self-exam.